Hello YouTube, this is Trainer Connor and I am here again with Kubal98. Hello everyone, it's great to be doing another video with Trainer Connor. This is a special series that we decided to create. Both of us will be doing a Battle Tree collaboration, and this is mainly for fun. It is not a walkthrough or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoy every episode that we make to the channel. Yes. We believe this series will be super entertaining. It is a new series, so we may not be in sync right away, but it will be fine. Trainer Connor, do you want to introduce the Pokemon that we'll be using in this video? Thank you, Kubal. So what we have here is a small layout of the Pokemon that we'll be using. On my end, I have a Choice Scarf Garchomp, who's going to outspeed everything in the tier system, unless other Pokemon are going to be Choice Scarfed. And then, I also have a bulky Ferrothorn. And the Ferrothorn there is going to help make things a lot easier to deal with by paralyzing the opponent's Pokemon, and or setting up Stealth Rocks and Spikes. I can also do some damage back using the move Power Whip. The Pokemon that I will be using is Arcanine with Leftovers, and Alone in Ninetales with Nevermelt Ice. And so that is our team. We're going to go in... Getting to the battles now, we'll be doing three or four battles every episode, but every episode is going to be different. So bear with us. This should be very fun. And are you ready, Kubal? Ready when you are. Alright, here we go. Enjoy, guys. Alright, so this is the first battle that we're facing. Hiker Buster and Officer Worker Emery. They both have very, very, very strong Pokemon to begin with. Uh, Gaskinor and Garchomp. I have a Garchomp as well, so this is an epic showdown. And I have this Arcanine with Intimidate. That is actually going to help us out right here because both Pokemon are physical attackers. So we are trying to decide what should we do first. We don't want to do anything crazy right away. But I do know that Cool 98 is going to use Protect. That is a good strategy because we were fearing that the opponent's Garchomp was going to use Earthquake. Now right there I go for an Outrage. It actually picks a random Pokemon on the field. I am super unlucky right there. I hit the Guskinor. Because of the Protect, when he used Paint Spit, it did not affect me. Yeah, it's very good that he used Protect right there. Initially it was going to be because of the Earthquake that could be coming from Garchomp, but... Pain Split is going to come into play later, so be on the lookout for that. The Guard Trump used Protect and Trainer Connor was trying to use Outrage. Yeah, I'm very upset about it. I would love to hit the Guard Trump because the Guard Trump is going to be very painful when we go forward. You know? Cool Ball, you tried using Flint Thrower. It didn't work out too well, did yeah, it? Yeah, because of the Pain Split. <coughs> yeah, he's going to take all of his health away while the Guskinor heals his HP back to full. But that's okay, that's why you have the leftovers. Super grateful for that, huh? <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, so he's going to use Protect because we think that the Earthquake is coming. I'm going to try to hit the Garchomp, but we actually hit the Guskinor yet again. That's very unfortunate. But look at this. The Earthquake is going to hit the Guskinor. And you got protected, so I'm glad that you used Protect right there. <laughs> yes, I am too. However, the Guskinor is not dead yet. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to use Pain Split again. I'm hoping that it's not the case. So we're trying to figure out what we should do. The Garchomp uses Protect again. And I go for an Outrage on the Garchomp. And then I go for Flamethrower, which... Finally. Three KOs, faints. Yes, it finally goes down, thank goodness. The dust nor. Ugh. Yeah, it's super. That nice. menace. It is a menace. Now, with Guskinor out of the way, we can focus on the Mega Sham now. Mega Sham isn't going to do as much work as Guskinor, thank goodness. And yes, luckily. <laughs> yes. This was my only shot at KOing a Scarchomp, and I. He misses the attack, and you actually survive an earthquake. <laughs> and you use 
well, the better can use is the high cam kick, which is kinda bad because I go down, but the rough skin is going to make it so that he loses some HP, and guess what, you use Will Wisp. Yes, which, as shown there, completely burns that Pokemon. Yes, it has a good physical attack stat, it's going to cut in half because of the burn. And my secondary Pokemon is Steel the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn, like I said in the analysis, is a much more bulky Pokemon so it can survive hits. I use Protect there because I know that if I do get another attack I would faint, so... He uses Protect and that's good strategy, good thinking there. And guess what? The Medicam goes down because he used Earthquake. And we thought that that was hilarious at the time. So I used Power Whip, and it's not going to KO, obviously, but we want to put some damage on to that thing. We only have two Pokemon to go here, the Garchomp and one other Pokemon. We don't know yet, but we'll find out soon enough. We decided to... Just go for the attacks, but you're gonna go down. Yes, and then I'm gonna be switching into my Alolan Ninetales. That's his last Pokemon on his end, while I just have my Ferrothorn. I go for another Power Whip. It's going to do probably the same amount of damage as before. So I go into Alolan Ninetales and use the move Blizzard. And for me, I... Decided to go for the Power Whip just in case, but that was kind of dumb because I completely forgot how much HP the Garchomp had. <laughs> I should have gone with Spikes or Stealth Rock because that would have benefited for us a little bit when we see Neo King coming in. He should have less HP than he started out with. Then I use the move Freeze Dry, which That's almost yeah. tails, but. Not quite. Yeah, he's close. He's very close. A Bulldoze isn't going to do much to us either. So that's fine. And there we go. We use the Power Whip. And that is going to KO the Neo King. We take these two guys down. And now we're headed to the second battle. Alright. So we're going to continue using our same Pokemon as before. But this time we're facing against a Mawile and a Mamoswine. Yes. That is a very threatening team right there, but luckily the Intimidate is going to serve us once again in our favor. So we're trying to figure out what to do here. I was scared of the Mawile, but then I completely forgot about the Mammoth Swine. I believe I told you to target the Mawile, but look at this. He uses his Quick Claw. And Iron Head, which is a critical hit, by the way, so that's why I did that much damage. I didn't want to go for Earthquake because I believe you wanted to go for the attack, right? I think so, and then I go for the Flamethrower on the Marwell, which KOs, KOs so... Yeah, it doesn't have good special defense at all. And look at that, we got the flinch on Mammoth's time, which is great. And now we see a Hippelgon. Sand stream again, because we don't get that enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But if I were locked in on, say, Earthquake, which would be bad, I... but you have Protect, so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go for another Rock Slide, since I have a Choice Scarf, so I have to use it regardless. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go down right here with the Icicle Crash coming. If only I had a Focus Sash instead, but that's okay, it's not going to make a huge difference. That's okay though, because I'm going to go into the Steel, the, the Ferrothorn, and you use Protect. Good thing that I chose to do that, because instead of wiping out, okay, it wipes out Mammoth Swine instead, which is the, the second time so far this has happened. There you go, that is one threat out of the way. I'm going to go into my Ferrothorn now. Steel is going to do his job on taking out the Hippelgon because we see Vanilla, so I know what you're going to do. Yes, um, I'm going to target the Vanillax and use Flamethrower. Super effective, but it's not going to do as much as we want it to. It should be gone already. He used Ice Beam. 
and then the Hippogon uses Earthquake, and you miraculously live the attack. I don't know how you did that. Luck. Yeah, I guess so. Either that or minimum damage, but I used the move Power Whip right there. Hippogon mm. is very bulky, and because of the Sandstorm, you do go down, but you actually put up a good fight right there. And I go into my long nine tails. So what we decided to do, I I was trying to figure out what move would be best for nine tails. But then we're like, what the heck? Let's just go for the blizzard. Even though in the sandstorm, the accuracy for blizzard is actually at twenty five percent. So it I, hits, but. We were shocked that it actually hit. Yes. It's not... Like, that happened to me before, but that was a long time ago. But, like, man, that was super lucky. This is the last battle for this video. Yeah. And guess what? More ice cream. <laughs> we see another vanilla on the battlefield. We do see Metagross. And what happens here is, I, th I believe, he uses Protect. Just because I wanted to use Earthquake. Yeah, and I know that it, if I didn't, I would faint. I'm such a strong Pokemon right there. So, he uses Protect as planned. Shark Bite, the Garchomp, is going to use Earthquake. It's going to easily wipe out the Metagross. However, the Vanillas, I'm assuming it's the same kind of Vanillas, because that gave us trouble in the last match. He uses Ice Beam, and KO's Garchomp. So Garchomp goes for the kill, while he gets taken down immediately as well. So now it's Arcanine versus Vanillas. I go into my Ferrothorn now, and I know that Cool Ball 98 is going to finish off the Vanillas. We see Minior here. It's not going to be as threatening as we thought it was going to be. So you're going to use Flamethrower on the Vanillas? Yes. And that's going to hopefully KO the Vanillas. Oh, thank goodness. So, last time it was a pain in the butt, but now it's not. Minior uses Light Screen. Which is kind of... I don't know, I feel like the Light Screen isn't going to affect us in any way, except for the Flamethrower, but you wouldn't want to use Flamethrower against these guys. No. So, I thought that was kind of weird. Um, we see Wishy Washy right there. That is a problem. I do have... I do have Ferrothorn. Now, right there, we kind of forgot about Shields down. I thought it was something else, but apparently it will neglect the burn. That was a waste of a turn for you, but we're going to use Power Whip to hit the Wishy Washy. It has a Citrus Berry, get his HP back, and you go down. So that means you're going to go into your Ninetales, correct? Yes. And I believe the Ninetales is going to take out the Minior, while I will take out the Wishy Washy. And that's the plan for now, unless something weird happens, but that is definitely the plan. I am very slow. Um, so he's faster. I, yeah, I use Blizzard. It doesn't hit the mining ore, but... It does hit the wishy-washy. And we freeze it! So, I guess that's something. <laughs> I don't know what the wishy-washy was going to do to us, but... Like we said earlier, mining ore is not a threat. It's actually using Rock Tomb. Now, if he was using a much stronger attack, that would be a problem. But Power Whip is going to finish off wishy-washy, and that just leaves with mining ore left. And you're going to use freeze dry. Yes. Super effective and all. Why not? But my hero is apparently very bulky. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it's bulky, this battle. Your speed gets lowered again. I'm going to try using Thunder Wave. And then I realize, what was I doing right there? It has the Shield Down ability. And then I go and use Blizzard, which totally <laughs> knocks it out. Yes, it's a critical hit. Probably overkill, but <laughs> my goodness. That is your first episode of the Battle Tree collaboration. We had a lot of fun doing this. 
there's going to be another episode coming out real soon. I hope you guys enjoy this first episode. I don't know when the next one's coming out, but we'll be working on it. But Cool 98, I appreciate you coming and joining in. Thank you for having me. Yep. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And share around the world. And definitely subscribe for more content. Have a great day, trainers.